everyone. We are back in Asheville, about to do our test. We are starting from a little bit different point. And um, so we'll get a little bit of bonus footage here. We'll see how it does. We just, um, normally we start in Battle Square right here. And so I have a waypoint that should drive us right through Battle Square and then um, on to Carolina Lane. This is gonna be our blind turn test. Um, so far this morning, uh, I can't say the update's been better. Uh, yesterday, it was awesome. It definitely unequivocally did better in Saluda, uh, thanks to the map update. Turn right onto o. Henry Avenue. Uh, but we'll see how good it does uh, on blind turn test. Is it gonna wait for the stop sign? Now turn right onto o. Henry Avenue. Or is it gonna like fly through it? Is it gonna try and run into traffic? Oh my goodness. What's it doing? That's an old Model S right now there. Your destination is on the left. You don't see a That's like an one of the original Model S's. So Oh my goodness, they just floored it. They just straight up floored it. I'm not sure why at all it would do that. Okay, we can... Um, this... What, what are these people doing? I have the right of way! <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, let's see if it stays in the correct lane over here. Now turn right onto Hayward Street. It is not, not gonna do it. Let's see if it stays in this lane afterwards. See, you can see the little tentacle right here. It wants to go around that truck. It doesn't realize we're in the correct lane. And it see, like, they they need to work on the logic of the turn lanes because look, like it sees that there's a left only turn lane there. We want to make a right turn. It doesn't have the logic to say, hey, well, he shouldn't be in a left turn lane to make a right turn. Um, but it still wants to do it for some reason. I, I think it kind of thinks this truck has stopped, but like it can even tell, you can see it can tell that it knows its brake lights are on. So that means you know the truck is running. So most likely it's also stopped at the stoplight that we're stopped at. Oh, this truck is trying to pull into a parking spot. Definitely a lot less traffic this morning, so that should give it the best case scenario here of like a good drive. Whoa, it up the speed limit on this road. I'm pretty sure. Five hundred feet. Turn left onto Carolina. I don't know if it was ever thirty-five mile an hour on this road. It's definitely not thirty-five in here. Um, so that map data. <laughs> That's a, another disadvantage of bat data updating. It might ruin stuff. Like now I'm gonna, like 35 miles an hour. I don't know if it's ever been 35. I Maybe I just haven't paid attention. I'm gonna, I'll cross check with an old video, but I'm pretty sure it's never been 35 on this road. Now turn left onto Oh, Caroline fantastic. Lane. We're, okay. Let's see if it's gonna turn here. There's one update that would turn every single time. Hey! And it's just gonna stop. Okay, now it's going. I had to press it, otherwise it was just gonna stop there. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and get us situated to do our blind turns. Like, okay, look, look, what's going on? I added a waypoint. The point is here, it's like, nope, right here is where you want to go. Like, come on, Tesla. Like, all, it, it, it's simple. All you have to do is just tell it to go where the dot is. Like, don't, like, you're making it hard. At least, I don't understand, like, the... 
to me, I don't see any reason. What they're trying to do is adjust your path based on what it thinks you want to go to instead of where you actually said to go. Um, let's try this again. We want to go here. Yeah, now that's correct. Let's see how this is going to do. Speed too fast. Now turn left onto Woodgood Street. Okay. I think I've ruined all the speed limits in Asheville. I swear it was in 35. Okay, so it needs to creep very slowly. Okay. That was fairly appropriate, the creep level. I think it could have been a little bit slower. Um, for a computer standpoint, I think it was fine. It was actually slow enough, even if it braked rather hard, I think. It's acceptable. Um, we're also too far back from a uh, from the line here. So it should stop now. Now turn left on I seriously don't Avenue. think this all the speed limits have been up to Nashville. I really don't think it should be 30 mile an hour right here. That turn seems to be improved. Now your destination is on the left. Let me go edit this and get rid of this destination. Let's keep on going. Okay. Again, not 35 on this road. Okay, so that car really messed it up, for sure. Um, it it also started to make too wide of a turn for me. Um, I, I'm always going to be overly cautious. I do not want my wheels getting curved, and I won't want to destroy my car doing this testing. Also, I just realized my left blinker is on. Um... It's probably confusing to the cars right there, because I'm actually turning right here. It shouldn't turn the blinker on until after. So what happens is it makes a turn and it just stops right here. Like, it, it's not moving at all. Like, if I press the accelerator, then it keeps on going. It's like, it has uh, something about this alleyway makes it not confident at all and it, it has to allow um it has to be like given permission to go forward or something like that um so first turn pretty good pretty good um we're actually just going to go back to this point here and do a right turn now see how it does i don't like the speed limit change it sucks that i'm going to have to ch lower it every single time now Wow, it saw that person quick. Um, way quicker than I saw him. And stopped immediately. I'm gonna have to review that footage for sure, but wow. So it's stopping for this car coming, this van. Um, it needs to stay in the right lane. To be fair, I should have kind of let it do it but it did turn better this time we're gonna do this turn again at least two more times not in this video one more time in this video and one more time in the next video after that now turn right onto broadway street okay i'm having to press the celery just a little bit to keep it in keep this smoothness feet, going on turn right onto west walnut street then turn right onto carolina lane so what we're looking for in that right turn there that we just went out of is that it stays in the correct lane. It did seem to be improved. Well, we're going to have to test it a couple more times. This turn is always messed up. Like, well, not always. One of the first versions did it fine. Like here, it still turns too wide. Now turn right onto Carolina Lane. I don't know what this person's doing. What are they doing? A little chaotic little mess right there. Hey, it kept on going this time. Now your 
It'd be funny if it just kept on going in a loop. I wonder if it will do that. No, it's not going to. Okay. So we're going to go back, re-navigate to this point. Um, well, that. Now your destination is on the right. Okay, that, that clearly didn't work how I wanted it to. We're going to see if that's going to work for us. Now turn left onto Woodfin Street. I'm going to do another left turn here. Got traffic to contend with. Okay, made that fine. Ah, oh, we got a person taking a left turn. Come on. Okay, so we made it. So that's good. Now your destination is on the left. That's, yeah, I was afraid that was going to happen. Okay. Now turn left onto Rankin Avenue. I didn't like this car. And it slowed down for that other car. It had tons of time to not need to slow down for that car that was coming. But that's going to be a disengagement there. We are going... So, besides making that turn too wide, and we're in the middle of the road. So that's going to be a disengagement. That's happened many times before on this route. I can't say... I'm going to do another right turn up here. And I just can't say there's anything particularly better with 10.10. Two versions, mind you. 10.9 and 10.10 for this. Nothing seems to be really better. Um... Now, I suppose it is turning on the Carolina Lane more reliably. Um, we have people here now. Uh, when my car is causing, um, like, chaos, is what we're going to call it, um, I'm going to take over. Um, when it's causing confusion with pedestrians and other cars around... That is when that is cause for concern for me to take over and fix the situation. Um, we should not be allowing the car to constantly make mistakes like that. That is unreasonable. There are certain times I might let it try and figure it out, but more often than not, I'm gonna let it do its thing. Here is a good example of a place where we might see an improvement. We'll see. So right there is a car coming, and it got in the wrong lane. And we can start creeping forward. We are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and force it. It's wanting to stop. Like I, ha I have to press the accelerator here to get it to go. I right and red there is perfectly fine as long as there's no traffic coming. Okay. A little bit better, so we're gonna stop here because of these people. Now turn right onto Carolina Lane. Again, I don't want these people freaking out. Okay, so we're gonna do one more left turn, and then that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, now your destination is on again. We had some good footage. I need to really compile all this into a whole video regarding the blind spot um, that this car has very clear that that's going to be a serious issue to overcome can they do it probably will they add a camera i would bet money i i would bet i would bet they will at some point in future versions isn't going to stop them from doing a robo taxi absolutely not make that very clear that it will not stop tesla from be um making these robo taxis assuming they have the compute power they will be geofenced, restricted robo taxis, but they will be able to be robo taxis. Um, they'll probably be mapped every corner like this where it can't see well. It'll just be um, blacklisted. You won't be able to go on it. Most likely, that is going to be what Tesla does to make these cars now work. Right onto now, like Cybertruck's going to have a front camera, 
And perhaps that's not going to matter. Now turn left onto Woodfin Street. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Obviously, we have traffic we, we're going to have to watch. It's starting to move a little bit to the right. It should, uh, okay. Like, that's, that's the thing. Statistically, if you really look at my videos, if you've watched all my videos, you'll notice that, um, the car actually, um, what it think this turn. So it has improved this turn for sure. Um, if you watch my videos, the car has made the majority of why is it stopping still? The majority of those turns with no issues. Now there have been at least two turns. Had I not intervened, it would have been a potentially um bad accident. Now I, I obviously not we're not going to get super hurt. But it's gonna destroy the someone's car. Um, two cars hitting at 25 mile an hour. Um, it's not gonna be pretty afterwards. Um, and this is the same thing on this road. It thinks it's a single lane road because there's no lines. And it just stays in the middle of the road. But um, more often than not, it makes that turn um, without any issues. But. Like, I think a 10% failure rate is still too high. It shouldn't even have a 0.1% failure rate. Okay, so that was going to be a disengagement because I started going again with this Prius coming towards me. And then that was going to cut the Prius off and then you had the people. Those type of decision making is going to be very difficult very difficult for the car to make um so it's going to be interesting how tesla learns uh, elon just released a new tweet basically indicating uh they're a ways off um from full stack like he's basically like this is a really hard problem and everyone's going to have to solve it for full self-driving um and so that's what's going to have to happen to make full self-driving work um yeah that's going to be the end of this turn test uh, i can't say it's really any better slight improvements very very slight and this is over two versions so um it's a little bit disappointing that we're not seeing any leaps and bounds better improvements version or like we're not seeing the rate of improvement elon promised um and that's disappointing he says they don't need dojo but i think i think that's um a little bit of a fib i, I think they actually need dojo to make this happen at a fast speed um that being said, we're going to be substantially better in a year from now. We'll see. I hope you guys keep on watching, and we'll find out together. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye.